Dear learners, welcome to EPG Partshala. I am Munisha Halawat from Institute of Hotel Management, Dehradun. Today, we shall be taking module number 12, titled Introduction to Meat, under paper Food Production Operations and Management. The learning objectives of this module are to learn what is meat, basic constituents which build up the meat, meat slaughtering procedure which includes inspection and methods of stunning, cuts of meat along with cooking methods applicable on it and its storage. Introduction to meats. What is meat? Muscle fiber, fat, inspection and grading of meat, slaughtering procedure of meat, methods of stunning, aging of meat, selection of meat for kitchen operations, factors which make meat tender, methods of cooking, storage of meat, cuts of beef, pork and lamb along with their uses, meat is muscle tissue, it is the flesh of domestic animals, cattle, hogs and lambs and of wild animals and game such as deer. By the word meat, we mean the body tissues of animals that can be eaten as food. Anything from legs to calf brains. We usually make a distinction between meats, proper muscle tissue whose function is to move some part of the animal and organ meats. Such inerts are the liver, kidney, intestine and so on. Of all the food we obtain from animals and plants, meat has always been the most highly prized. The source of that prestige lies deep in human nature. Our primate ancestors lived most exclusively on plant foods until 2 million years ago, when the changing African climate and diminishing vegetation led them to scavenge animal carcasses. Animal flesh and fatty bone marrow are more concentrated source of food energy and tissue building protein than nearly any plant food. The help feed the physical environment of the brain that marked the evolution of early hominids into humans. Later, meat was the food that made it possible for humans to migrate from Africa and thrive in cold regions of Europe and Asia, where plant food was seasonally scarce or even absent. Humans became active hunters around 1 lakh years ago. Why do people love meat? If meat eating helped our species survive and then thrive across the globe, then it's understandable why people fell into the habit and why meat would have a significant place in the human culture and tradition. But the deepest satisfaction in eating meat probably comes from instinct and biology. Nutrition was built into our sensory system, our taste buds, odor receptors and brain. Our taste buds in particular are designed to help us recognize and pursue important nutrients. We are receptors for essential salts, for energy-rich sugars, for amino acids, the building blocks of proteins, for energy-bearing molecules. Raw meat triggers all these states because muscle cells are relatively fragile. Meat is thus mouth-filling in a way that few plant foods are. Its rich aroma when cooked helps in building the appetite. What is meat? A basic definition of meat is the parts of animals fit for human consumption. This broad definition refers to both the edible carcass 
and offal. The definition of meat varies from species to species. For example, the hide is removed from the beef, veal and lamb. But for pork and poultry, it is considered part of meat. The carcass includes the following components. Lean muscle tissues, bones, fats, connective tissues and offal. Offal is not actually part of carcass. It is edible by the products produced in creating the carcass. Most people consider meat as the steak, roast or chop. When considering which meat to use for cooking, we must consider the use of the muscle while the animal was alive. Muscle sections that are used more frequently will be tougher than more sedentary muscle groups sedentary muscle groups. Muscles that are located along the back are used less frequently than muscles that are at the extremities. More used areas like legs, thighs, necks, etc. Muscle fibers. There are two basic types of muscle fibers, smooth and skeletal. Smooth muscles are found in the digestive and circulatory systems and are primarily involuntarily muscles. These are generally found in offal products such as tripe. Skeletal muscles are the more typical meat muscles. They attach to the bone to allow the animal to move and perform specific tasks. Muscle fibers are aligned in a directional pattern called the grain. When cutting meats, it is important to understand the direction of the grain so as to cut across it and ensure that most tender surface possible. Certain cuts that have an obvious grain can be extremely tough. If the cut is made with the grain as opposed to across it. The color of muscle fiber depends on the type of muscle and its species. The red pigment is due to myoglobin, a protein that holds oxygen to the muscle. Beef, lamb and venison deer all have a darker red meat due to the large amount of myoglobin present. Pork, veal and various types of poultry are a light color because much of the energy is achieved anaerobically. Fats Different types of species has different type of lipid combinations. The taste and melting points of different fats can reflect different uses in the kitchen. Pork fat is considered more palatable than beef or lamb fat. Lamb fat is very strong in flavor and has a different mouth feel. This is due to the different levels of saturated fats. There are four basic categories of fat. Subcutaneous fat, the fat found directly under the hide or skin of the animal. It is very dense and good for barding and larding. Pork fat, back is an example. Lumber or kidney fat, fat found inside the carcass cavity surrounding the kidney and pelvic region. This fat is very hard and crumbly with little moisture which makes it very good for rendering and drying. Intermuscular fat, fat that is found between muscle group. It is used to help guide the butcher between muscle cuts. Intramuscular fat. This is also known as marbling. Marbling is fat found within the lean muscle tissue between muscle bundles. When well marbled fat is when well marbled meat is cooked, the fat melts, infusing the cut with the flavor and leaving a weakened muscle fiber, which translates into tenderness. Marbling is considered as the main indicator of quality. Inspection 
and grading of meat. Inspection Inspection is a guarantee of wholesomeness, not of quality or tenderness. It means that the animals was not diseased and the meat is clean and fit for human consumption. Grading Grading is a quality designation. Quality grading is, a, is based on the texture, firmness and color of the lean meat. The age or maturity of the animal and the marbling the fat within the meat. Slaughtering procedure of animals. Inspection In this method, the animal is brought to the slaughterhouse 24 hours in advance. In this time, the animal is inspected for any kind of disease, sickness or injuries or any kind of physical disabilities. Resting Animals are kept in a place for at least a day. This allows them to rest so that there is not much of movement. In this resting period, they are given plenty of water for the first 12 hours. The animals are then starved for another 12 hours so that there is no feces. Body waste. Stunning. This is a process in which the animal is stunned and made unconscious. Stunning helps to avoid the pain to the animal while slaughtering process. If the animal will be cautious during the process of slaughtering, it will move so much that the blood will spill around. Therefore, to avoid this situation, they are stunned. Methods of Stunning Captive Bolt Large animals like cow, beef are hit by a big metal rod or hammer on their head to make them stun. Electrical Stunning Small animals like goat, sheep are passed through current for at least 8 to 10 seconds which makes them unconscious for 1 to 2 minutes. CO2 Stunning Animals like pigs are passed through a tunnel of carbon dioxide gas which makes them unconscious for 2 to 3 minutes. Slaughtering This process is done immediately after the animal is stunned, not because the animal will gain consciousness but because at this time the blood pressure rate is very high which helps to drain out the blood from the animal body easily. Bleeding Since the blood contains protein, it is susceptible to bacterial growth. Therefore, the blood is drained out of the animal body after the slaughtering the animal is hung with the help of an anchor or hook from the ceiling to drain out the remaining blood. Aging Green meat As soon as the animal is slaughtered, the muscles of its body start to stiffen because of the chemical changes going on within the flesh of the animal. The stiffening or hardening of the muscles is known as rigor mortis which disappears slowly. The softening of the meat for beef takes 3 to 4 days whereas lesser time is required in pork, lamb and veal. The enzyme present in the flesh is responsible for softening. Green meat is that kind of meat which doesn't get sufficient time to soften up. Green meat is tough, hard and comparatively flavorless. Generally, it takes long time for meat to reach kitchens when dispatched from butcher houses. Green meat can rarely be a problem except when meat is frozen and still green. Meat selection for kitchen operations Whenever one decides to buy meat or whole carcass fabricated cuts, it is dependent on four things. How much skills the kitchen staff has in meat cutting? How much storage? and work area one has for the same. 
can all the meat cuts and lean trim meat be used in the menu that has been decided which form provides the best cost per portion handling and cooking of meat tenderness and right cooking methods the heat of cooking affects tenderness in two ways it tenderizes connective tissues if moisture is present and cooking is slow it toughens protein even meats low in connective tissues can be tough and dry if cooked at excessively high heats for too long factors which make meat tender moist heat white connective tissues known as collagen changes to gelatin when it is exposed to moist heat yellow tissues known as elastin doesn't change during the cooking procedure or marination either it should be discarded or finely minced or finely chopped which will help in breaking it down tenderizers when used tenderizers make the meat tender acidic foods like vinegar tomatoes curds lemon and tamarind help to tenderize the food also aging of meat meat should not be eaten immediately after slaughtering as rigor mortis sets in and stiffen the muscles the muscles are hung in cold conditions around 1 to 2 degrees celsius the time can vary depending upon the type of meat like beef mutton etc after some time there is improvement in tenderness flavor moisture and color in the meat veal are never hung the meats which are tough are soaked in acidic solutions like vinegar wine or sometimes even curd which makes the meat tender and helps in improving the flavor grinding and mechanical pounding is also done to meat to break down its connective tissues grinding breaks and cuts the muscle tissues or fibers making it possible for all ground meat to be prepared in a way similar to that used in tender cuts pounding is used for tenderizing the meat this method breaks and tears only surface meat tissues and fibers methods of cooking the method of cooking that are most suitable for a particular piece of meat is often decided by the variety of animal from which it is being obtained its age condition quality its content of fat the cut of the animal and the size of that particular cut along with its tenderness the fat content and tenderness in the muscle tissues influence the cooking method and eating quality aged and developed muscle tissues normally take longer to cook a suitable cooking method can be used for various cuts of meat that preserve the nutrients preserve juiciness develop tenderness and therefore result in the least shrinkage of the meat storage of meat the quality or grade of the end product does not only depend on proper selection of meat but also on its proper storage as well fresh meat is highly susceptible to bacterial growth and perishable whereas on the other hand the meat are very expensive which makes it important to avoid spoilage whenever the meat arrives it should be thoroughly checked to ensure its good quality meat items should never be wrapped tightly bacteria fungus and molds grow in a place where they find themselves in moist conditions or stagnant places air circulation inhibits their growth 
Meat items should be stored loosely but ensuring to cover the cut surfaces with other plastic. Wrap to prevent excessive of drying. The cryovac wrapped meat item should not be opened until it's ready to be used. Meat should always be stored at 32 to 36 degree Fahrenheit or 0 to 2 degree Celsius. Meat products do freeze until 28 degree Fahrenheit minus 2 degree Celsius. The meat should be kept separately in cooler areas and working tables to avoid any kind of cross contamination. Cuts of beef. Quality points of beef. Moist, firm, with bright red flesh. There should be no excessive fat. The lean meat should be flagged with fat which is known as marbling. The fat should be dry, creamy white in color and odorless. The bones should not be brittle and when cut should have a bloody interior. The quality of meat and poultry is influenced by factors such as the breed of the animal, the way it has been reared, its sex, age at the time of slaughtering, the conditions at the abattoir and the way it is then processed as either fresh or frozen meat. Quality descriptions such as prime, choice and standard are used to describe various meats. But, in general quality can be judged by the compact shape and the amount of lean meat of a particular cut. Hung for 12 to 14 days after slaughtering. Joints uses and weights of hind quarter. Joints uses. Shin, consume, beef, tea, stewing. Top side, brazing, stewing. Second class roasting, silver side pickled in brine, then boiled, thick flank, braising and stewing, rump, grilling and frying, a steak braised in piece, sirloin roasting, grilling and frying in steak, wing ribs, roasting, grilling and frying in steak, thin flank stewing, boiling sausages. Filet, roasting, grilling and frying in steaks. Four ribs, roasting and braising. Middle ribs, roasting and braising. Chunk ribs, stewing and braising. Sticking piece, stewing and sausages. Plate stewing and sausages. Brisket roasting, grilling and frying in a steak. Leg of mutton cut. Roasting, grilling and frying in steak. Shank stewing, boiling, sausages. Fillet roasting or grilling and frying in steaks. Storage. Beef is purchased in hind or four quarters and must be hung in a chilled temperature for up to 14 days. During this period, the meat becomes tender and the flavor develops as a result of an enzymic reaction and the natural relaxation after rigor mortis. The period of hanging is longer than with other types of meat because the animal is older when slaughtered, joints should be stored in deep trays under refrigeration and surplus blood drained from the trays regularly. Frozen joints of beef must be kept at a temperature of 18 degrees Celsius and correctly defrosted before use. Nowadays, it is common to purchase chilled vacuum packed joints and cuts of beef. When required, the clear wrapping is removed and the meat allowed to stand in a refrigerator until the color becomes normal. Once opened, this type of meat must be used quickly. Vacuum packed meat should be stored at 0 degrees Celsius. Chateau 
brion double fillet steak cut from the head of the fillet and for more than two portions between 300 grams 1 kg 12 ounces 1 pound can be obtained fillet steak four to five steaks can be obtained each of 100 150 grams five steaks can be obtained each of 100 150 grams four to six ounces tornado steaks approximately six to eight ounces at 100 grams four ounces each steak should be tied to a form a regular shape tail of fillet this is cut into julienne or minced according to its intended use cuts of lamb aged less than one year when slaughtered flesh light red in color and finely grained white or creamy white fat bones are soft and porous carcass should be evenly fleshed with even coating of fat hung for four to seven days after slaughtering quality points bones porous with slight bluish tinge fat evenly distributed hard brittle flaky and clear white in color lean flesh firm dull red with fine texture or grain before preparation carcasses should be hung in a cool dry area cold room for up to five or six days this will improve taste texture and tenderize the meat storage carcasses of lamb should be hung by the leg joints should be stored in well drained trays which should be changed daily under refrigeration 3 degrees celsius to 5 degrees celsius for a maximum of 5 days smaller joints and cuts deteriorate quicker than whole lamb carcass frozen joints should be stored in a deep freeze at minus 18 degrees celsius with an appropriate wrapping and defrosted in refrigerator at 3 degrees celsius to 5 degrees celsius for 24 hours cuts of lamb weight and their uses name weight uses shoulder three roasting stewing leg three roasting mutton boiled breast one roasting stewing middle neck to stewing scrag and stewing broth best end to roasting grilling frying saddle three roasting grilling and frying cuts of pork pork flesh light pink in color and finely grained skin should be thin smooth and dry fat not excessive in proportion to the flesh use within 7 to 10 days of slaughtering english cuts and uses leg roasting and boiling loin roasting frying and grilling spare ribs roasting pies belly pickling boiling stuffing rolled and roasted shoulder roasting sausages and pies head brawn trotters grilling boiling kidney sauce grilling liver frying and pate quality points the following list indicates the quality points to look for when purchasing pork moist firm and pale pink flesh there should be no excessive fat the fat should be white and firm the skin should be smooth hairless and undamaged the carcass should have a pleasant smell pork keeps less well than other meats and needs very careful handling preparation and cooking dear students let's summarize now we have learnt about the basic meat structure 
the constituents which help in its building also we came to know about what the meat slaughtering procedure is and the process involved in its slaughtering. Inspection, fasting, stunning, slaughtering, cleaning etc. Cooking methods of meat and various animal cuts. Thank you.